well guys, what is going on in the trap and stuff in here? Again, today, can't pick that Takuna, for some reason. Here today with another Nazi Zombie video, well, probably my first official Nazi Zombie series map, I guess. Can't pick up, ooh, yes I can. Sweet, so we got a pack punch gun off from the start, I guess. 6,000, okay. Well, in this map, I don't actually know where the power is, but you get some, you know, your normal perk machines. I don't know where double tap's at. And you get some guns off from the start. You know, some, you know, it's just a really small map of zombies spawn out of the ground. Uh, as you can see in the bottom, they're called the cunts, and they actually give you a counter on how many is left. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty easy. First round's over. I actually do not know where to turn the power on. It's a bit of a problem. I'm gonna try to get a zombie left. Oh, jeez. No, I'm thinking I'm just lining some up and see how many I can get. We got five that time. Okay, let's get two more out of this. Now, let's leave this one to uh, live. And hopefully, we can see or try to find where the power is. So, I've put on this map one time before. I just could not find. Where the power is? Oh, no, you're that. You're too close. I think it has something to do with this. I'm not sure, but maybe you shoot it. Maybe you shoot the heads. Oh, fuck. Well, aren't I smart? Don't, don't worry. That was not, you know, scripted or anything. Actually, try to. Uh, in past games, I actually just tried to, uh, just, just, you know, hold down E or hold down a few keys, knife. It's weird. It was not scripted. Seems like we could run a little bit of a train, we just have to wait for them all to spawn in first. I actually do not see Pack Punch anywhere, which kind of sucks, but... Oh well, we don't really need Pack Punch. We got this gut shot. Right off the start, we just need to save our ammo. Let's get jugs real quick. So we can run trains in here, it seems like. We just gotta be careful of when they spawn in. See, like that, but we can always... We always have enough in there, we can just reverse the train around. Okay, let's get, a, let's get that SCG that was here. Only has, like, one clip in it. Just aim for the heads. Not get hit by the zombies. So I mean, this seems pretty easy on single player, but if you are going to have, you know, playing it with more than one person, it seems like it would be kind of hard because, you know, trains would conflict. There wouldn't be really enough room to run trains for two people. How much is this? Eight thousand. Jeez. I guess it must be really good if it's worth that much. Uh, there's only there's no guns left on the walls. We're gonna have to either wait for max ammo or die trying. There's only one mag in this too. Shoot, I've yeah we're uh, we're having a bit of an ammo problem here. It seems pretty easy to train the zombies in this map though. Just counting that they only spawn in one area and we have a large amount of room to train them. Make the most out of this that we can. Oh, more spawning in. We won't even have close to 8,000 to get to that pop shot. I don't think I don't even know if they drop anything. And there is not instant grenades. Shoot! Let's get a crawler. Okay, we got a crawler. Um, nothing under here. Nothing else under here that we can take. Um, well we got points from going under there usually. Damn it! We could buy the Bowie knife and the bouncing Betty. Uh, shoot! Um, nope. Can't get that. So it looks like we're just gonna get the bowing off. And some Betty's.
Um, good stuff. And Kablammy. Okay, so, uh, they spawn in pretty quick. I mean, they spawn, you know, right in after another. We're gonna need to save up for that 8,000 to buy that Papa Shop. So that's the only gun we can get. Unless we happen to get a max ammo this round. It's gonna be pretty hard to, uh, knife a train. Just thought of that. Which, uh, didn't plan ahead very well. I can lay down these beddies, which probably take out a whole train. Yeah, that took out quite a few. Let's back away. Yeah. Well, it looks like we can actually use our beddies to an advantage. If we just round them up, we can take out a whole train with them. I think the spawn limit is like 20 zambies or something. I'm not too sure. But no, we haven't gotten any runners yet. They're all walkers. Let's get some baddies ready. Oh, that just took out, I don't know how many of that. Took out a lot. So, uh, I, don't, I think we don't really have to worry about ammo, we just need to use our baddies pretty strategically. Shut up, Spicola, you piece of shit. Yeah, that just took out 10 zombies. So we're halfway and I just got something I don't know Windows said something to me you know what I ain't got time for that Windows oh no we did not want to get trapped do not want to get trapped do not want to get trapped do not want to get trapped I dude Dempsey you're telling you're preaching to the choir man yeah that just took out I don't know for him. that took out a lot I think we could knife the rest of them. Yeah, we can knife the rest. So one Betty took out, what, 20? 20 Zandies? Sounds about right. So, uh, yeah, Betty's, if, if anyone's planning on playing this map, just, uh, get, get Betty's, since that's pretty much the only weapon you can actually use. If I was to, if I was to actually speak to the map, you know, creator directly, I'd say, uh, I'd say, yeah, put in some, put in some more guns, because this is baloney, and I don't have any baddies left. Shoot! I'll knife what I can. 